Hey guys, it's me, Julia Lee, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to take an old pair of jeans and cut them into shorts. Because I'm petite, I end up cutting off the bottoms of a lot of my jeans instead of getting them hemmed because it's free, and sometimes I just prefer the look of the raw edge hem. Cutting your jeans into shorts is a really similar process, so I'll go through step by step how I do it. I'm gonna be cutting these old Levi's skinny jeans into more of like a mid-thigh length cycle short. I just haven't really worn these at all in the past year which is a sign to me that I'm just not really a fan of the style anymore. I think skinny jeans were more trendy than timeless and they just aren't a flattering style on my body. I do think they would look really great as shorts though so let's get started. In terms of materials you'll need some sort of measuring tape. I used a washable blue marker but a regular pen would work fine. Some sort of ruler to help you draw a straight line and scissors to cut your jeans. Lay your jeans flat and make a mark at how long you want the inseam to be. The black shorts I flashed earlier were a 5 inch inseam and I knew I wanted to make these ones a bit longer so I marked it at a 7 inch inseam. Remember you can always cut off more material but you can't bring it back so if you aren't sure just cut them a bit longer to be on the safe side. Make your mark along the inner inseam. Make sure the zipper is up or the button fly is done up so you can fold them in half evenly. Line up the outer seams and make sure they're laying as flat and evenly as possible. Find the mark you made on the inseam and line it up with the other pant leg to make the mark at the same place. So the only difference with cutting jeans into shorts versus cutting the bottom off to make them the right pant length for petite is that when you're cutting shorts, you wanna make sure that your cut doesn't go straight across like the regular hem. You wanna make sure it angles slightly upwards from the inner thigh to the outer thigh. This will make the shorts sit properly when you actually wear them. If you're cutting shorter shorts, you'll want to make the angle a bit more dramatic. Since mine will be on the long end, I'm just making a very slight upwards angle. Draw your cut line across both pant legs. Cut along the marked line. It might not come out perfect on the first cut, so just adjust as required if it's not completely even. Once you've cut both pant legs, try them on and see if the length is suitable. Make sure you move around in them so that you can see where they'll naturally sit when you're actually wearing them. If you want to cut them shorter, make those adjustments now. Once you're happy with the length, start pulling the thread on the edge which will give it that frayed look. Just pull all the way along the edge to make sure you're getting a fairly even fray all around. You'll also want to add a few hand stitches in the outer seam to reinforce the stitching and make sure that the seam doesn't come undone from the cut. You can sew the inner seam as well. From my experience, I've only ever really felt that the outer ones come undone. So if you're lazy like me, you can sew the outer seam and it should be fine. You can also always add hand stitches later if it starts coming undone. Now it's time to throw them in the wash, which is really what creates the frayed edge you're looking for. I put mine in the dryer as well and you'll notice after you take them out, you'll have a nice and fluffy fray. Depending on how distressed you want the edge to look, cut off any extra thread. I wanted a clean fray so I cut off all the hanging white thread all around. And here's the finished look! From old denim pants to new denim shorts, I am really happy with the way these turned out. I love the length and I will get so much more wear out of them now that they're shorts. This is such an easy way to repurpose old denim and create a new and refreshed look for a different season. I hope this was helpful. Leave any questions you guys have in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.